Our other top story at 10, the East Point City Council shut down an ordinance that would fine families for the cost of school threats. A tied vo vote rather disappointing the police chief who's been pushing for this change. Jacqueline Francis live with more on his reaction. Jacqueline. This is something the police chief was really pulling for after saying at one point or another his entire detective staff has been tied up because of these threats. But not all is lost as he plans to reintroduce the ordinance in the coming weeks. Councilmember Baker? Uh, yes. Councilmember Curley? Yes. Councilmember DeMonico? No. Mayor Pro Tem Lucido? No. In a two to two vote, the ordinance that would hold parents financially responsible for kids making false threats failed. It comes after the East Point Police Department has been inundated with investigating these bogus claims. Empty threats often made by students trying to get out of school. Introduced last month, the proposed ordinance would have charged parents the police department's cost in such situations. It would also apply to offenses like pulling a fire alarm or drag racing. The council members opposed had their reasons. This ordinance is just a little too much, and the last thing I want is for anyone to ever have like the fear of getting a bill for calling emergency or non-emergency numbers. Um, I know sometimes you know people abuse it and things like that, but um, you know our residents do pay uh, taxes for those services, and we should be um, providing them. The police chief disappointed by the decision after explaining to council just how much manpower these investigations require. When someone's making a false bomb threat or uh, attempting to shoot up the school or blow up the school, that deploys our entire detective bureau and all our officers for several hours, even for days. So that's what we want to do, just hold people accountable. If the mayor had been at tonight's meeting, the police chief believes she would have been the tie-breaking vote allowing this ordinance to pass. For that reason, he plans to reintroduce the ordinance in the weeks to come. Reporting live in East Point, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Stay out thin. All right, Jacqueline.